two suggestions have been, as I spoken earlier, please send it to Malibu uh, first, or please send it to San Pedro. Uh, I think San Pedro would like it. I think it could serve either community. And I thank you for your glorious presentation. It really is quite something, but it's just not for Venice. Thank you. Uh, just uh, while the next speaker's coming, I just wanted, um, uh, Mr. Ward and Mr. Regan, I did see Congresswoman Janice Hahn on Friday night and mentioned the wheel. She said they would love it in San Pedro to please talk to her. And so did Doug Everhart, who's very neighborhood council active on my city commission. They want it, really want it in San Pedro. Go ahead, Liz. Elizabeth Wright. Uh, it's sort of confusing because earlier I read what I thought was a press release that said the wheel was 200 feet high, now it's 175 feet high. It, it said that people will come from 50 miles away just to go on this wheel. And this evening, absolutely no impact to existing traffic. It's built in 10 days. How good is it during an earthquake? This is earthquake country. You have many views of the wheel at night. The beach closes at 10. That's not going to change. The Santa Monica Ferris wheel is 130 feet high. This is 175 feet high. What do you see that's different? This has air conditioned compartments with leather. And somehow that just doesn't sound like this. <laughs> well, my name is Daryl Dufay. My first impression, you've got to be kidding. So then I started to go to their website. I found it very interesting. You saw one of the things where it says Singapore. They don't put it in that area. Well, the, you go to the website and you press Asia, and the only thing that comes up is Singapore. Mm -hmm. And I find that Florian Bolin, who is one of the ex, uh, that is one of the founding members and majority of stockholders, is supposedly running this. So that was not correct. Then I started to look about all these cities. They had been in, as I can find, 28 cities, which now they only have, excuse me, 28 yet, and only five that they're operating in now. They were supposed to be in Orlando. That didn't go ahead. I went to Wikipedia. I don't know the, the, the uh, facts all, but they talk about problems with the one in Berlin and in Beijing and uh, different, different problems that they had with it in terms of, the, you look it up, I don't want to, I don't want to belabor this. But the first thing I wanted to say, you know, I like the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. I like to stand there and look at the Pacific Ocean. And I can't believe, he, he did a great job in his presentation. I mean, that's, but this is not for Venice. It absolutely is not <coughs> for Venice. And what bothers me, 15 seconds, is I sure would like to have someone talk to Brian Reagan. And my right there, Brian, Kevin, I'm sorry, Kevin. Kevin, I don't know you. It's just a gut reaction. I can't even believe this was brought forward. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, Daryl. Good evening. Uh, my name is Scott Adams. I'm a 30 year resident on 18th Avenue between, uh, between Pacific and Speedway. Mr. Head, let's be honest with each other. The only reason you want to put this Ferris wheel in is for money. If you weren't going to make money, you wouldn't put up $12 million. And if this is only a three-year project, I don't know, but I don't put up $12 million to have something there for only three years. I asked the council that when they do come, when this does come up for final vote, that they do consider the Venice specific plan and adhere to it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Hi. Um, Introduce yourself. I'm uh, Karen Wolf. Um, I, uh, I'm not going to repeat everything that everybody else said except 
two words, San Pedro. Um, I mean, they want it, you know? Come on, let's use our heads. Um, also, I, a lot of what was presented was just implausible. In the short time that I was on Lupec, I reviewed some of these things. Um, but a real red